I, I want to talk about a very emotional topic, and you start, already started touching about it, and that is on black tax. Where do you draw the boundary? Let me, let me come to Anthony, because we already started talking about it. <laughs> black tax, like it, it's a common problem in uh, African households. So where do you draw the line? Like I'm struggling, but people are still expecting me to send them money back at home. Yeah, it's, um, it's a burden of our lives. Um, <laughs> we are stuck with it. Um, and maybe that's the reason why in the African continent, the culture to help those close to us is the missing capital for us to become great. Uh, but again, we can't leave our friends and relatives behind. Uh, hence, black tax. But I think there are three things for me, and you realize I, I like counting, so, <laughs> so, so it comes to the territory of, of, of my background. So there are three things which can help you deal with black tax, because we will never avoid it. Just set some rules. So one of the things you should very be very clear about is who is eligible for that black tax from you. Just define it. And you can keep on changing that definition, but it should stick to some level that who is eligible for money from me regardless of what they want to do with it. Because when you, when you, when you give money to a loved one, to your mom, to your dad, to a cousin, to a friend, and you don't want it back, or you don't expect it back, you don't, don't put too much effort in what they want to do with it. Because you've said, I'm gonna help you, take it. <laughs> all, the, all, all, all the, I call them all the well brought up young people who send something to their mom or their dad back home, really to their dad, to their mom, <laughs> don't really follow up what their mom does with the money. Because they have said, it's for you, you've been there for me, I'm being there for you. So number one, define who is, who is an eligible recipient of that. And widen it or narrow it according to what your, your belief system and also your ability. Secondly is define what component of your income deserves to be given to other people. <laughs> you shouldn't be random about it. So if it's done for that season, for that month, for that year, that's it. Even if you have more, you say, I think I'm always able to give X, Y, Z to my recipients of my help, mm -hmm. and I've already done it, I think any other need has to wait for another season when I want to redefine who, can, who is eligible. <laughs> so you, you, you define the amount. And the third one is causes which are dear to you. Um, if supporting your parents is dear to you, and it should be, the, you can't exchange a parent for anything. <laughs> um, if you define the cause that dear to you is helping parents, helping young, uh, young brothers and sisters, helping a member of an extended family, helping people who you've got to, to you have become part of your ecosystem because of various reasons, either professionally, through um, associations of either marriage, otherwise, and many other things you, you've done. Um, if that cause resonates with you, do it. The people who do things outside the formal black tax, because the formal black tax is within family. Outside, there's a bit of causes, like, like I support this cause because it affected me and I, I succeeded, so I need to support that cause for some to succeed. There are people who support certain causes, especially with the diseases where they have conquered and they, they need to help other people conquer those diseases. Or anything you do because it touches your heart. You love children, um, you love helping, spending time with, personally I have, it's, I spend a lot of time with young people um, uh, and, 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 and the time or the money is enough cause for me. And I can easily classify it as part of my black tax. So define, number one, who is, should, who is eligible. Secondly, how much can you commit 
in a particular time, day, month, year, season, or whatever is your measure of income computation. And then lastly, the causes which are dear to you. If a genuine need, needing your money, and it's radically outside your things you consider genuine causes for you, just stay away. I, I like what uh, Robert said here. Just learn to say no. I mean, when someone doesn't contribute to Matanga or to a burial, I mean, for God's sake, don't, don't kick them down. I mean, that's a cost they don't. I've worked in, with, with international colleagues elsewhere where they actually can't contribute to that because it does resonate to, <laughs> to, to the things which deserve uh, their, 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 their money. And, 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 and they have solutions for that. For example, in all Mitchell will tell you, why don't you buy a funeral cover? I know it's heavily cultural, but it can work, it can substitute that. So someone will tell you, I don't want to contribute in Amatanga, but I want to help you get assistance from a more formal, sustainable channel. And, and I think that's how I'll, I'll advise people to deal with black tax. But avoiding it, you can't. you can't. Just learn how to make it part of your life yeah. without it pulling you down. I love that. Yeah.